What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Yesterday, we collected rainwater and today, we will be able to discuss or to tackle something about rainwater. Rainwater is very good for hydroponics system. Now, for those of you guys uh, who subscribe, thank you very much. For those of you who not subscribe, please subscribe my channel and follow and share. So today, I am here with me a pail of rainwater which we collected yesterday. So guys, I have here uh, rainwater from the rain yesterday. So we collected at least 10 gallons of water, uh, 10 liters of water. So a lot of you guys are asking if rainwater is good enough for hydroponics. So we need to move in another place because So, guys, so that we can read clearly. So, first, um, again, uh, this is a 10 liter water from rain yesterday. So, we need to have, we need to check what is the pH of this. Okay, so. To be clear, this is uh, rainwater, right? The pH is 7.9, 7.8, right? So let's wait for a few minutes and boom. So 7.5, 7.6. All right. Okay, 7.6 guys, rainwater. And then next we're going to check the TDS. Okay? The TDS is zero, 00. Okay, zero, 00 guys. TDS is zero, 00. How about the PPM? Uh, PPM is only 11 guys for those of you who are watching right now this is the water rain water which we collected yesterday and the PPM is 11 only and the TDS is 0 and let's go to easy easy is 0 okay zero guys ppm is zero tds is zero easy is zero and ph is 7.2 something 7.5 and again tds tds is zero ppm is only 11 
all right and easy zero um, I guess this is the last TDS zero so guys so we include that rainwater is very good um, pH is 7.5 plus TDS is zero PPM is 11 easy is zero so that's why uh, rainwater is very safe for hydroponics use so so I have here this one is the rainwater okay what is the easy what is the pH of the rainwater and why is it that uh, it is good for hydroponics and then we will have to try it with the easy mix nutrients like uh, hydro plus solution and other nutrients so hopefully we can like right information in this video so guys um, what is easy easy is electrical conductivity and what is pH pH is the potential hydrogen and what is the TDS TDS is the total dissolved solids so I have here the tester this is cheaper so if you have a bigger farm try to have this one because you do, you do the measurement okay so first we have to measure what is the TDS of this rainwater so try to look this try to look this we have TDS is 0, 0. 0.0 now let's go to PPM what is the PPM of the rainwater so the PPM of the rainwater is 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so 20, 21. <laughs> ano ba talaga? <laughs> so 12. Okay, so 12. And then let's go to easy electronic electrical conductivity, zero. So 0, 0.0. Okay, so, so guys, zero easy pH is 12 up until 20. Okay, and then the TDS is zero also. So what happened if rainwater, and then we will try this one. We will have, a, we will get one liter of water. And then we will try uh, hydro plus solution okay so 2 ml per liter of water for leafy and 2.5 ml for fruiting so we will have to try a direct focus direct 2 ml Um, since we have 5 ml and then we will have to uh, reach at least half to reach the 2.5 okay so again up half pa. We will, we will mix it and then followed by the B. So now the rainwater is already have uh, nutrients, hydroplast. This is an easy mix solution. You can avail online. Just go to the shop link of Mr. Joey Vergara. Okay. And also you have to, if you don't have uh, hydroplast, you try also Prima and 
snap solution and other easy mix solution so guys we will have to check the easy easy is 0 0.8 0 0.8 and then let's go to pH pH is good 6. Point, around 6.8 6.5 good also at least uh, range 5.0 up to 6 point or 7 something so it is good and then how about the TDS TDS is 0.5 how about PPM so PPM is 564 so medyo kulang pa dapat 800 right so, 800, 812, okay, it's the target because our PPM is 12, so we got to have uh, 800, so 812 all in all. So guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.